Good day, students. My name is uh, Mr. Namani Humphrey O, a math teacher, JS3. Today, we are going to enter week five. And the topic we are going to discuss is application of a trigonometry. And we know that a trigonometry has three main things. And that includes sine, cosine, and the tangent. If you can recall what we did in our during second term, we have even talked about a trigonometry. But now what we want to do is its application in solving a problem like angle of elevation and the depression. And that is what we are going to dwell on today. We, our objective here is that uh, by the end of this lesson, the majority of you, which I tag that 75% of you, should be able to identify angle of elevation and angle of depression and solve a problem that relates with them. Illustration. If you look at the diagram on the board, you can see how I position the observer. Observer could be you, observer could be your mother, it could be your father or your friend. You can see what we want to demonstrate here is an angle of elevation. And what angle of elevation is not that thing other than when you are standing on a low level, looking at something at the top. If you look at it now, take this observer to be yourself. You want to sight something on top of the building, which is, I term the building now as the object. The horizontal line is where you are standing. And that's why I said when the object is higher than the observer, the angle of elevation is the angle between the line of sight. That is, as you are putting your eyes up, your eyes is making an angle with the object you are looking at the top, say on top of the tree, on top of the building. That's why I give some of examples of angle of elevation like an observer at lower level, a uh, sun. Like if you are standing on the ground, if you want to see a sun, you will raise your head up. If you want to see something on top of pool, say at the goalpost, you must lose, raise your head up, likewise on top of a tree, and some other examples like that. Then, let us look at some exercises. I, number one, I said, find the angle of elevation of the top of a tower, 20 meter high, as seen from point on the level ground, the distance 80 meter from the foot of a tower. The question now requires us to leave our answer to nearest the whole number. This line here is now standing as the tower we are talking uh, about. This is the angle of elevation. If you compare this diagram now with this, you can see that that place an observer is standing now, that is where the angle of elevation formed, which we termed as a, a theta. This is the line of uh, sight. And the triangle we are using is a right angle. Now, we say that if theta is the angle of elevation, then tan theta. If you can recall, during our second, risk, uh, our second term exercise, I showed you how you can find the opposite, the adjacent, and the tangent. For tan, tan is opposite over adjacent. And because here is theta now, this line, the tower, is now the opposite because it is a line facing directly to the theta, the foot is now, because he said level ground, distance 80 meter. That's why I have 80 meter here. Then tan theta is opposite over adjacent. That's why I have 20 over what? 80. Which if you divide, you get 1 over 4, which is equal to 0 point what? 5. But because we are looking for an angle, we will now consult our four-figure table, which I have even showed you how a number can be found in a four-figure table. 
in your four figure table, 0 0.5 corresponds to a number 14 degree, 14 degree point two inches. But the question requires us to leave our answer to nearest whole number. You can see now that these two inches is not up to 0 0.5. We wave it up, and that's why we say that our answer is a 14 degree. Therefore, the angle of elevation is now 40, 14 uh, degrees. We have another example because the ones we just calculated is how to calculate angle. Let us now see how we can calculate the sides. The angle of elevation of the top of a tree from a point on the ground is 45 degrees. If the tree is 8 meter high, how far is the point from the base? You can see the diagram here. The diagram now I still represent, this is now the tree, the top of a tree. Then, this is where the observer is standing, which could be you. We said the other angle is well 45 degrees and the height, because we are told that it is 80, 8 meter high. That's why I have 8 here. The base, because the question said, how far is the point from the base, which we don't know. I now represent it as what? X. Then, we, where we know now is opposite and what? Adjacent. This is opposite because it faced the angle 45 we are talking about. The hypotenuse is not given. And we know that when we have opposite and adjacent, what we are going to use as a trig is a tangent. And that's why we have tan 45 equals to BC which is BC opposite over AB, which is X. And BC is given as 8. We don't know AB. If you now cross multiply, we have X times 45 equals to 8. We will now go to four figure table and look for tan 45. And tan 45 is equal to 1. When you now say, x equals to 8 over 1. If 1 divides 8, you get what? 8 meters. Since tan 45 is equal to 1. Then, in a similar way, why we use this uh, trig is because our main concern is about trigonometry. If this is an exam, you can still use another form to get the, uh, your answer. Since you know that this angle here is angle 90, and the angle given is 45. And the sum of angle in a triangle is equal to 180, which means that the remaining angle is what? 45. You can see that we have, what I'm just talking about is now as a method B, assuming you don't want to use this uh, approach. You can now see that uh, we have 45 here, we have 45 here. And in our knowledge, we know that uh, an isosceles triangle is an angle that has the the two sides equal, two angles equal, which means since here is 45, here is 45. Therefore, since it implies that uh, side BC will be equal to side AB because their angle is uh, are equal. Since it is an isosceles triangle, you can see that you can still use this format and get the same eight meters. Then the next Subtopic we want to look at is angle of depression. Angle of depression is opposite of angle of elevation. That is when an observer is at the top of tree or top of mountain, trying to find something at the level ground. And you can see my diagram here. You can see now that the observer has changed his position. He is now on the top of a mountain or on top of cliff or on top of a Three, trying to find something at the level ground. We say that theta is the angle of depression. Example, if angle of depression, uh, we say that uh, example of angle of depression, we have maybe as I have pointed out now, if you are standing on the top of a tower, if you are standing on the top of a building, if you are standing on top of a 
three. These are places one can stand and be able to make a, an angle of uh, depression. Then, exercise. The angle of a depression of a point Q from a vertical tower PR is 30 meter high is 45 degrees. If the foot P of the tower is on the same horizontal level as Q, find PQ. And I told you that if you have two letters and you have a stroke, what it means is a line uh, PQ. You can see my diagram here. This is now the top, the tower. And this is where the observer is now. The position I termed as what? R. A formed angle 45 degrees because angle 45 is given. And why I have angle, this angle 45 is because this angle of depression here is alternate to this angle Q. So we will now say where we are looking for now is a PQ, which is the foot or the horizontal line. We now have opposite over adjacent. And that's why I have 35, 45 equals to PQ over 30. If you cross multiply, you have 30 times 45 equals to PQ. If you go to your four figure table, you will find out that uh, angle 45, tan 45 is equal to one and 30 times one will give us uh, 30. Therefore, line PQ equals to 30 meters. So in summary, what we, are, we have tried to put across here is about the angle of elevation and depression using a trigonometric uh, ratio. And the trigonometric ratio in use here in the examples we, we have uh, solved is a uh, tangent. And we say that tangent is a uh, opposite over adjacent. Which if you can uh, uh, rec uh, recall on what we did during our second term exercise. If we have something like this as a right angle, and we define here to be your theta, this line that is facing the theta is regarded as the opposite. Why this line that is facing the right angle is regarded as the high potenus? The remaining side is now the adjacent. Such that uh, if you want to, if the equation given is the one that consigns tangent, we use opposite over adjacent. If you can remember what I told you about the uh, Soka tour. Tangent, which this T is stands for, is the opposite of uh, adjacent. Cosine adjacent over hypotenuse. S stands for sine, opposite of uh, hypotenuse. Then I want you to try this. A ladder makes an angle of 76 degree with the ground. Calculate the height of the ladder reaches up the wall. If you follow what I have just explained, here now the angle is given, the size is not uh, given. So it is now left for you to know whether it is the line of sight or the level ground is required. And you use the, uh, if you use the appropriate trigonometry, that is if it is sine, you use sine. If it is cosine, you use cosine. If it is tangent, you use tangent you can able to resolve the problem. For questioning, you can contact me on the WhatsApp page using 08022431732. Thank you.